so we'll be starting off this tour right by Baldwin Street. As soon as you get to the top of Baldwin Street, you will see the million dollar staircase, y'all. This is something that everybody knows when you come to UGA. I personally try to avoid this staircase, but for y'all, we gonna go up it today. There are ramps both to the left and the right side of the staircase if you do not want to walk up the stairs. It really just depends on what you want to do. Some days, if I have to walk up this way, I walk up the ramps or the hills. Other days, I walk up the stairs. It really just depends on what you want to do or if you really know your way around campus. You could cut through certain buildings, go up elevators, but it takes more time. Y'all, I'm I'm over it. Um I'm, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> so over to the left is the back side of Park Hall, which you have a lot of English classes in, and now to our left is another building that they put a lot of gen ed classes in. And it hosts our Coca-Cola suite as well. Now once you go a little bit further down that road, you'll see Brooks Hall. I had my first year advising appointments in this building. I'm not really sure what else they hold in there, but I know I had my advising appointments in there. Now we're gonna go down this side of the road first, but if you go to the right, I'm pretty sure you guys know a lot of what's over there, so we're gonna circle back around later. If you keep going down that road, you'll see this nice green space on a nice day. This is a nice area to sit outside, take some pictures, just relax. To the right, you'll see the School of Law. Anybody can go in this building. Honestly, I think I don't, I don't do too much studying outside my room, but if I do want a nice area to look for pictures or just a nice visual space, the School of Law is most definitely the place to be in Caldwell Hall. That is my building. Now, I don't have many classes in there, but I'm a Com Studies major, and that's where the Com Studies major is held in. Now, we're just looking at the other side of the School of Law. And then you have two different ways that you can also go from this path. We're going to take a look over to the left first, and then we're going to circle back around. So when you come to the left, I was trying not to show too much because there was a family out here having a picnic and they need their privacy. But this is the hurdy field. This is the fountain that you see. A lot of people go in, they jump in. Good luck. It's a big deal, but clearly it was down. It was out of service. All the good stuff. I'm trying to show you all the traditions, but clearly UGA was hating. Next up, if you continue going around the fountain, you'll see Gilbert Hall. Once again, not really sure what they have in this building, but I do think that they hold the foreign languages in here. I know my Spanish teacher had her office in that building. That is Chandler Hall that you're now looking at. And then we're gonna loop back around. You're gonna see the other side of Hurdy Field. If you know anything about UGA, this was our first football field. I know it's really small, but this is where they used to play football at all the time. So it kind of mimics a layout of a football field. This is also a very good place to take pictures at or just chill, sit outside, have a picnic at on a nice sunny day like how it was on this day. And if you keep on going around from Hurdyfield, we will get to see the back of the chapel, which houses our chapel bell. This is what you can see everybody ringing on any day after winning a football game, after winning a basketball game, after having a good test, after having a good day. Whatever you feel like doing, you know, ring the bell for good luck. Ring the bell after doing something good. Just do it. You feel me? But once again, UGA was hating on a sister. And the rope that they have, the extension, was not there. So, unfortunately, we could not ring the bell today. But one day, we gonna ring the bell, okay? <laughs> Just over it. Sick of it. <laughs> 
So now, like I said, we're gonna go right back around. This is the other side of the Hurdy Field. We're gonna go right back down this lane, this little sidewalk path in between the school on Caldwell Hall, just to show you what's on the other side of all of this. So we're back over here by the School of Law, like how you guys saw earlier. This is Brooks Hall once again. And then if you were to take a right coming up the million dollar staircase, this is what you will see. That's the first building on the right. That's the Dean Rusk Hall. I'm not really sure what they're doing there. I don't really see too many people go in and out, but it's nice to know. Then the next building that you will see to the right is the main library. I believe there are four floors, if not, I think it's three or four floors in this building. Like I said, I don't do too much studying outside of my room, so I've barely been in that library, but they do have a lot of good places to eat at in there, as well as silent spaces and just nice views if you want to study, but don't ask me about what's in there because I study in my room. I'm just gonna take you down this path real quick. If you were to keep walking past the main library, here's an area where you can pump your bicycle wheels if you need air. <laughs> I don't know too much about that, but there are a couple stations like that on campus if you ever have a flat wheel. Now, if you look down this road, there is a little graveyard right there. Don't ask me too, too much about it because I don't know too, too much about it. But if you're ever feeling spooky vibes, you know, you can go over there. <laughs> then on this street is the Jackson Street Building. And this is another main library bus stop. A lot of the buses will go there if you ever are coming on or off campus. Now, if we were to go right next to the main library, again, this is another one of the buildings that you will see is the Peabody Hall. And y'all just look at all of this green space. On a nice day, there's usually a lot of people out here having picnics, tanning, hanging out with friends, just talking, whatever it may be. On the left, you can also see the School of Law, the other side of it as well. Now this is Waddell Hall. We're still on the same path, but you're just going further down. And over here, I believe it is the Founders Garden. Correct me if I'm wrong, I probably am, but I think it's the Founders Garden. So once again, just a nice area to look good, take some pictures, chill, they have little benches out there. This building that you're looking at right now is one of those buildings. It's one of the first buildings that were made on campus. They did not know which way they were going to expand UGA's campus. So actually this building looks the same way on both sides. So there's not one side that looks like the right side. You're gonna see when we go on the other side of the building. <laughs> this is the Lustrat House. Then when you keep on walking, this is another one of the fountains. This is not a fountain that people usually jump into, but it's just a fountain. And once again, UGA was hating on us. It was out of service. <laughs> another building is the administrative building so you'll be seeing a lot of stuff in there and here's the other side of that building that I was telling you guys about before it looks the same exactly on both sides because they did not know which way they were going to be expanding campus but they went the right way <laughs> that other white building over there is new college and the brown building that we were talking about before is called old college now this next building that we are looking at is a building that a lot of people would know about if you come on campus because this is where all the administration, not administration, but coming into the school, so admissions, that's where you'll be going to get all of that handled. And that's called Terrell Hall. 
now we're on the other side of this path so right by the new college if you look further down that way you can see that's where Herdy Field was in the fountain and now here's just a marker if you're ever lost on campus and you need to know where to go the here is a map of the North Campus Now, if we were to keep walking on this side of the street or this side of the quad, you will see the chapel. A lot of people get married here. I had a class here. They ended up switching it, but that's besides the point. There's a lot of things that you see that happen in this building. And of course, today was a nice day out, so there was a few people out in the quad, just chilling, having a picnic getting some nice sun. Now here is the Holmes Hunter Academic Building. We love this building. It is named after two of the first black African American students to desegregate the University of Georgia. So we love this building okay in this building you'll see a lot of stuff the financial aid office the registrar office all that if you have to drop off a check or something of the such you want to be here here's a little spill get into it get into it we love it okay now we're coming across the very stamp the big logo the everything of uga this is the arch but real quick i just want to show you guys what this sign says if you want to read it just pause it and read it real quick it does say a whole lot about the history of uga i'm not saying that everything in there is good but it's important to know what's been going on uga and the culture and how we can fix it you already know we're not walking under that arch because we have not graduated yet so we're walking on the side today okay when we graduate we'll walk under the arch now here is downtown Athens. This is where you can get to a lot of stuff. There's Starbucks coffee over here. There's Chick-fil-A. There's a whole lot of nice um, smaller stores down here. It's really a good site to go down and look, walk around on a good day with some friends, try the different places. It's a whole vibe, okay? So over here on the other side of the Holmes Hunter Academic Building, this is the arch bus stop it's a really good bus stop to get to if you are going downtown or if you're leaving from downtown and trying to get back on campus so we are still downtown i want to show you that little target over there there it's in the makings right now and y'all, that's really about to be my best friend. I love Target. I love just walking there all the time. So I had to show y'all. So as y'all can kind of see, there's a lot of places that's over here in downtown Athens. And this is literally just one part of a street. So it's definitely a place that you want to explore when you come on campus. Now, one of the last things that I want to show you guys on this tour is Studio 225. It's a really nice place. A lot of people don't really know about it, but it is the center for the entrepreneurship certificate, everything entrepreneurship. It's a nice maker space. There's a lot of things that go on in here. So it's definitely a place to come and look and tour out if you are interested in entrepreneurship or business or anything like that. now we're just on the other side of studio 225 here's another hotel but there's one more thing i want to show you guys on this tour before we are over so that's the internal auditing division i don't really know if that's a place that a lot of people go to but i mean if you ever want to know and this next building or house structure is the latin american and caribbean studies institute
And then the very last thing on this tour is the Ray Nicholson House. This houses our Student Alumni Association and one of our other UGA Bulldogs if you ever wanna come by and take a picture next to it. And this sadly is the end of our North Campus tour. I hope you guys are able to learn a little bit new things about what they have to offer on North Campus. And remember to follow me on Instagram at I'm Drew to see more videos like this and subscribe to see when the next campus tour comes out. And remember that I love you guys so much. Sorry for the car. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.